Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 4th through January 10th. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Gemini for the week ahead? Keep in mind, not every reading is for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest, and the timing is still fluid, but... We're hoping this is going to play out between the 4th and the 10th of January. What do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? The devil. So there's some sort of attachment here that you need to break free from. So this week is going to be about breaking free, needing to break free. So you may be also dealing with a Capricorn. You don't have to be, but we do have a toxic environment, something that is unhealthy that you need to break free from. So that is going to be your focus this week. Um, yeah. Oh, well, there we go. It could be an addiction. It could be a codependency. It's something that you are bound to. It's something that you are slave to. You must find a way. You have to find a way to break free from it. Haystack. Karma. Karma. You will reap what you have sown, whether it's good or bad. Okay. Quill, it's time to get back to the basics. So it is time to get back to the basics. You are going to get something that you deserve, whether it's good or bad. Um, now this is a card of lust, greed, obsession, materialism, uh, slavery, bondage. You have to find a way. You have to find a way to break free from something. And I think that this week it's going to be your main focus. Something has you stuck, you know. It has you in an unhealthy situation. Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords reverse could be walking away. You know, there could be some crime that is exposed. There could this there could be um, choosing to walk away. You don't want to fight anymore. So you may be choosing to walk away, maybe making a decision to break free. That could be the case. But the Five of Swords reversed is, I don't know, there could be some sort of battle. It could be an extreme there could be something extreme that is happening happening in reversed. What is this five of swords? Yeah, facing some challenges. You're going to be facing some challenges this week. You may you may have some information. You may receive some information. That's the sword that severs the ties. So you you may be receiving some information or some sort of truth that allows you to sever ties. Okay? That's the sword that cuts. Now this is this is wounded the and the need to be strong. You need to be strong. You're going to, and I think that you've been strong. I think that you've been strong. I think that you're ready to sever ties. You're ready to walk away. You're ready to stop fighting. There's nothing left to prove. I feel like you're, you're just ready. You're ready to get back to the basics, right? It may not be easy to break free. So you, you may be dealing with some turbulence this week as you are taking some sort of chains off, right? You're severing some ties by the looks of things. With a toxic situation, toxic environment, there's been some sort of codependency. You've been trapped in this situation. Right now, it's like you're taking a new approach. You're severing some ties by the looks of things. It's been extremely challenging. I feel like you've been expecting trouble. You've been waiting for this moment. Um, you've needed to have strength. You could be dealing with a professional that's helping you this week. You may have gotten engaged with a professional. Um, this person may be helping you to sever ties. Um, you could be dealing with some legalities this week. You could be signing some things. Um, three of Cups. Now, this is a celebration. It's happiness. 
So you will maybe celebrating something this week. You may be celebrating, you know, something being exposed or some some sort of completion. You know, with the five of so this is this could be the end of a battle. It could be. But it could also be all out war, so it could be go many ways. But this is a celebration. It's enjoying life. It's having fun, celebrating with friends, socializing. Seven of Wands, you're in a very, very tough position. You are going to be in a tough position this week. You are. You may be having people asking you all kinds of questions. You may be feeling like you're being attacked, you know. Um, I feel like you are definitely going to be facing some challenges this week. You may feel like celebrating. You know, this is like a, you know... This is like a win in you know, the five of a five of swords reverse. It's like not what not needing to fight anymore. I'm not sure if you're winning something. <laughs> because this is a celebration. But you, I think that there's a lot of people that are probably up against you're up against several, you know? There's like a crowd here, and you're in a very, very tough position. There's a lot of people around. There's a lot of people around that are probably supporting you. This is friends, family. There's a lot of support. I feel like you have a lot of support. Temperance reversed. So this is upheaval. It is definitely upheaval. It's... Uh, ups and downs, experiencing ups and downs, frustrated. Hmm. I think there's some healing that is needed. You may need to heal from some sort of battle. You've been in some sort of battle. You need to heal. You, you're going to need time to heal. There could be some inappropriate behavior this week that you are somehow connected to. This is going overboard. You know, the temperance reverse is going overboard. So somebody, you know, they could be celebrating. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's too much. It could be gloating even. You you are on top. You're on top. You know, you want to you want to be careful. You want to master your emotions. Try to control your emotions. You will need to control your emotions. Don't let ego get in the way because uh, the devil can be about ego. So I'm not sure if you're celebrating some sort of win or some sort of, I don't know, news that comes out. Don't let your ego get in the way. Just saying. We all have it. I feel like there's going to be some competing interests here. There's good, there is. There's competing interests. So, you know, you may be happy, but you may be dealing with other people that aren't. You know, so there's there's going to be, it feels like there's a, there could be an extreme competition here or a fight or a battle or a, a what's it called, a rage of some sort. Um, yeah. Somebody could become enraged over some news. More than one person. Hmm. King of Pentacles. So yeah, this is a win of some sort. You're getting some sort of stable opportunity or this is stability, security. Long-term, long-term success. It feels like you've manifested something. You're getting an offer that leads to long-term stability, whatever it is. Looks like there's a new door. Somebody's going through a doorway. They're going through a path. They're going down, you know, some sort of path. that it feels like it leads to victory. Um, long-term stability. I feel like your hard work has paid off. You could also be dealing with an earth sign. Um, I feel like you're holding on to your own. You're receiving something. 
I feel like you have a lot of support, but you also have some people that are, are against you, which is very interesting here. Now, the King of Pentacles is uh, very stable, very wise, very practical, very cunning, very clever. Somebody that has worked really, really hard to obtain prosperity. So I feel like you're going to be receiving something that is going to add to your abundance. Put it that way. You're going to need to be disciplined. Okay? You're going to need to be disciplined in your emotions. Make sure that you are. You, For some of you, there could be somebody that is uh, helping you. They're giving you something. There is somebody that is helping you. They're giving you something that you deserve. Okay? You deserve this. You're about to get something that you deserve. After being in some serious battle, you've been in some sort of battle where you've been, I think you've been left behind or you've, you know, you've been betrayed. You've been betrayed, but now you're receiving something. You're receiving something that you, you manifested it. You manifested it. You worked for it. You fought for it. This is making you extremely happy. Don't go overboard. That's a strong message. Don't go overboard. Don't gloat. Don't let your ego get the best of you. I think you've been in a challenging position. And now you're, you're, there's some sort of information that is coming out that is changing perspective or perception. You know, it's going to be changing uh, people's perception. But there could be anger. There could be anger. You could be up against, I don't know, it feels like it's a mob. You know, it does. If you, I don't know if they, I don't know why. This is somebody not happy. I feel like, you know, you may be happy. You may be celebrating something. And you've got somebody here that is upset. People may be asking you all kinds of questions, you know. There could even be, you don't know why, but I feel like there could be news reporters. You know, because when I see these, I feel like there, you know, there could be, you know, like at the news when they come with their little microphones and I put them up there, you know, that kind of thing. You're definitely receiving something that is going to make you extremely happy. Um, five of swords reversed this is you know it's time to be happy it's time to let go of that ego let go of the ego it's time for you to be happy and stop fighting stop fighting something this fight is about to end. So the battle is about to end by the looks of things. You are about to be broken free from something. I mean, the devil is ruled by the shadow. So something isn't all that it is cracked up to be. You know? It's the Hierophant. You got the devil versus God. So God is in control. There's a higher power that is in control. That is giving you something, okay? Because this is something stable, solid, long term. You earned it. You earned it. So there's a higher power that is guiding you through a doorway. They're guiding you towards victory. I believe you're being guided towards victory. This is going to make you extremely happy. There's a there's a direct connection to, to God here, to a higher power. This higher power is breaking you free from an unhealthy situation that you have been slave to. You definitely are going to feel like celebrating. There's no doubt about it. Your life is about to change with this five. Fives are about change. Underneath it, there's a five as well. 
So the battle that you have been fighting is coming to the five of swords. That's a battle. It's coming to an end. There's something that is being exposed as well. There's going to be some sort of exposure crime or something like that. There could be some crime that is exposed. There could be some criminal behavior. I'm just saying there, there could be with the temperance reversed. Um, you could have somebody here that is wanting, I mean, this is like an attack, feeling attacked. I feel like you're in a very tough position. You have to protect yourself. You may be trying to protect yourself. You may need to protect yourself. You're definitely going to be receiving something that is going to make you extremely happy, okay? This is a this is a gift from God by the looks of things. Anyhow, um Ten of Wands reversed. Now, Ten of Wands reversed is headed towards balance, okay? This is letting go of a burden, letting go of baggage, dropping the weight, dropping the, the responsibilities. You're leaving something behind, letting go. You're letting go of something that has been overwhelming to you. You're freeing yourself. You're being freed. You are being freed from something. This is making a conscious change. So there is some sort of change that is coming. There's been a delay. There has been some sort of serious delay. It was just bad timing. It just wasn't the time. But this is this is the end of holding on to something that has been weighing you down. You are free. You are free. You are free. You are going to be broken free from a toxic situation that has been holding you down. Dropping this baggage, dropping this weight. Ten of Pentacles. So this is this is prosperity. It's abundance. This is financial success. It's a good business deal. This is permanent stability. That's where you are headed. You're getting some sort of long-term offer or some sort of whatever it is, it's something stable. You're getting a you're getting something that you deserve. This is comfort, prosperity, family support or support from others. Starting a, a, a family, building a new foundation. It could be a new home here. There could be a purchase of a home. What is this Ten of Pentacles? It's long-term stability. It's permanence. It's financial success. Abundance. Prosperity. You win. You're on top. You win. You are on the path to prosperity. You're on the path to abundance. After you let go of something that has been holding you down. So I feel like this week you're, you're going to be taking steps in a new direction with guidance. There's divine guidance here with the Hierophant. There's guidance. There's also something being revealed King of Cups reversed. Very, very emotional. Extremely emotional. Could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is somebody that is very secretive, withdrawn, probably doesn't have good intentions. I feel like there's good, this person, uh, I don't know, maybe they're going down because this is going down. And this is, you're on top. There could be a serious battle going on. King of Cups is in reversed. Next to the Ten of Wands reversed. That is letting go. 
dropping it, dropping out, you know. Now this is this is letting go on the path to prosperity. Somebody's letting go. There's some sort of emotional blackmail here. Somebody's been lying. They don't have good intentions. And I feel like there's going to be some sort of fight or battle. Seriously, for the Seven of Wands. But this is the end. It's the end of a battle because this, this Ten of Pentacles, this is the end. And this is heading. It's dropping. Okay. It's dropping the fight. It's like I want happiness. I don't want to prove myself anymore. I don't want to fight anymore. I just want to be happy. So that could be the choice that is being made. You know, I just want to be happy. Being guided out of a situation. So yeah, I do think that you're being guided out of a toxic, unhealthy situation that you have been tied to. Maybe maybe you were tied to it because of ego or pride or something like that. I think that a decision is being made. I feel like you are about to receive an offer that breaks you free. This is an offer. The higher power is involved. And they are, you're going to be freed from a toxic situation. Put it that way. Some of you may even be getting a marriage proposal. I know I'm changing it, but this is marriage and this could be a proposal. So some of you could be getting a marriage proposal or some sort of proposal. It doesn't even have to be marriage. You know, you may be you may be signing a contract for a new home or a new business or something like that. Whatever this is, this is long term stability. The Ten of Pentacles. Financial success. Comfort. Property, perhaps. Perhaps after being rejected. You may have been rejected. One more card. Knight of Swords. Woohoo! So the Knight of Swords is a sudden arrival. There's some sort of communication coming in, putting plans in action, moving very fast, moving in a new direction. There could be an upcoming battle or there's been some sort of dispute. But this is a champion. This is a winner. So I think that you're going to win. You're going to win something. Somebody is, is, is helping you. You're going to be receiving some help that breaks you free from some sort of situation that has been uh, not that it's cracked up to be, you know, with the devil. The devil's ruled by the shadow. It start, the, the whole situation started out, you know, to be a lie. Because the shadow is a lie. Started out as a lie. But I feel like the lie comes to light, right? Now there's somebody coming to the rescue that is breaking you free. I mean, we've seen this guy. Somebody, you got somebody here that's tied up. They're about to be broken free. So somebody is being broken free from a situation that they probably thought they were going to never be broken free from. You know, they probably thought they were going to die there. You know, that's not the case. Here comes change. Somebody is coming to your rescue. And you have prosperity right here. New home, new business, a win. Some of you may be getting an inheritance or you may be uh, yeah this is winning something because of the seven of wands that is you're on top it's been you it's been tough 
but your perseverance has paid off. The fact that you don't give up and have not given up is bringing you something solid, stable, long term. You can let go. You can let go of that emotional, uh, well, that sadness, whatever it is. You can let go of that, if I don't know, maybe feeling inadequate. Maybe, or whoever the person is that you are dealing with that was holding you back. This person is emotionally withdrawn. They're very secretive. They're non-communicative. They don't have good intentions. Anyhow, somebody is coming to the rescue. They're coming to save you. So anyway, Gemini, I feel like this is a week of breaking free. You are breaking free. There's a higher power involved. This higher power is bringing you something to celebrate. You will be celebrating something. You're going to be celebrating something. If you are single and you are watching this, there could be somebody coming in. This person is, if you're single, if this is love related, there could be somebody coming in. This person is a fighter. This person is um, very strong, very noble. They're it's almost like they're going to protect you. You know, they're coming to protect you. They will protect you. They're not going to leave you stranded. This is somebody that... Uh, is a hard worker they've been guided to you from a higher power so there's somebody coming to help you that's what I got I feel like they're, they, that uh, you have a lot to be thankful for because you're going to receive something that lead, lead, that leads you towards long-term stability. Could even be some of you could be marriage if that's. I mean, I think I already mentioned marriage here. Anyhow, you are headed towards comfort. Okay, so good luck.